They gotta hear me, they gotta hear me, they gotta hear me, they gotta hear me. As I think back to when I first started racing, I realize how lucky I am to still be racing today. Before I ever celebrated a win on top of my car, I celebrated in my backyard. Before I ever got interviewed in front of a crowd, I got interviewed by my dad. My name is Doug Barnes, and all season long, I plan on giving you a behind-the-scenes look of what being a NASCAR Advanced Auto Parts driver is really like. You'll see the ups, the downs, and the raw emotion that comes with being a race car driver. And you'll pretty much see everything that I see throughout a weekend. So if you're on board, and you're ready to follow along for the season, please consider subscribing. It's the number one way that you can support me and my videos. Now finally, let's get into the video. If you saw my last video, then you know that this is definitely not what I wanted to do for this video. Unfortunately, it's rained pretty much all week and Dominion weeps really badly. So we decided to cancel our test session. There's two main reasons that this honestly sucks. Number one, we don't get to test anything out now. I'm talking like camera and equipment wise. We will be testing next Thursday in placement of today's test, but it's not like I'm gonna have the opportunity to come home and, and you know, edit a video before then. It is what it is, but the second reason that it really sucks is just because I haven't even been in a race car since November of last year. The last time I was even near a race car is when we were in South Carolina in November. This is gonna be a behind the scenes series, so anything racing related, I wanna film, and luckily the new trailer just came in yesterday. Now, now our Ultra actually had some damages and it's in Indiana getting repaired right now. Now it's actually really clutch that this trailer got here because I don't even think we had a way of getting two cars to the track until a few days ago. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the shop and then we'll just take a tour of the new trailer and then that'll be like the behind the scenes footage. Now another like behind the scenes thing and one that you'll see like in my videos, these are my shoes that I've had since probably 2012. I, I had these in legend cars if that tells you how long ago it was and they, they've had holes in them for years now and <laughs> during some of like the longer races my heel actually burns like hell so i finally got a new pair of racing shoes if i'm being real i'm not exactly in love with them they do look clean but most importantly they're not going to burn my feet i don't know if you can see or not but this is the inside of my old shoe i haven't had insoles in probably three years and i always forget how uncomfortable that is until i actually get to the track so having insoles is gonna be a big upgrade too. Now one more thing before we get into the trailer. For months people have been asking how they can get the Air Doug shirts. And the only way you can get them right now is by being at a racetrack. I don't have a shop, I don't sell them for money, they're completely free, but you gotta be at the track. We get them out there. And you know, I say you gotta be at the track, but I'm not even sure what the track's gonna do as far as you know fan interactions go when it comes to COVID. Because last year, the only way that I talked to any fans or anybody that watched me race was if they came down to my pits after the race is over. Now I have been working hard to come up with some other stuff to give out and the first thing that I've got is these stickers Now they're just like regular stickers, but there's a QR code on it and If you scan that QR code, it actually takes you to my YouTube channel Now the second thing that I should have by the first race is these beer coolies and hopefully they're available by the first race I don't want to sit around and talk too much longer So in a little bit, we'll go over to the shop and we'll take a tour of the new trailer They gotta hear me. They gotta hear me. They gotta hear me. They gotta hear me. I gotta let them know oh. They gotta hear me, they gotta hear me So it's been a few hours since I've recorded the last part of the video And once I got here I found out that the toter home actually has transmission issues So that's not here The trailer doesn't actually have a generator And we don't have one just sitting around So I'm gonna do the most with the footage that I can But as lame as it sounds I'm just gonna walk you guys through some pictures that I took. My iPhone was able to capture the images a lot better than my actual camera. Now right behind me, there's actually a lounge back there. It's not very big, it's got a couch and a TV and it's got some overhead storage. This trail also has a ton of storage too compared to the last one. As you can see, we don't even have the cars in here. We have to take this down to North Carolina once the toter's fixed, load everything up down there, and then we'll take that to Dominion and then we'll finally have the cars. Now one difference with this trailer from the last trailer is that the last trailer had a lift gate, which means that you back the car out on the gate and it lowers it down. Now actually the top floor in this trailer lowers, so you can drive it right into the trailer and then you'll raise it up on the spot that you're gonna strap it down at. And it also has an observation deck up top. It's really nice, but it is just an empty trailer, so I'm not really 
too sure what else I'm supposed to do. It kind of sucks that the video had to turn out this way. It had to be like almost like a trailer tour instead of, you know, the test session that I was hoping it was going to be today. And it's 7.30 right now, so we'd actually be wrapping up practice in a half an hour. I apologize that this wasn't a test video that I promised, but it's out of my control. So I figured something is better than nothing. I'm excited to finally stop talking and to actually go out there and make the videos I've been talking about. Now, if you want to follow along all season, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We should be back next Sunday, and that should be the first video I have up. Now, also down in the description, there's going to be a link to my second channel. That's where I'm going to be uploading the full uncut races. So if you're looking for the uncut races on top of the vlogs, then go down there and subscribe to that channel too. But like I said, next video should be Sunday and or Monday, depending upon how long it takes everything to get up. I currently don't have any plans to film anything this week, so the next thing on my channel should finally be the races. So I hope everyone has a great week, and I'll see you guys next Monday.